Okay, so... So it's interesting to finally hear you admit that you really don't know much about how the world works. Um, you don't know how computers work, for example. No, I do. You don't know how cars work. I do. <laughs> you know, and it's not because I'm a specialist and that's what I earn my living doing. I don't design or build cars. I don't repair cars. In fact, I take my car to the shop to have it repaired. But I'm curious about it. I want to know how it works. I don't want to live under myth. Okay? Now that's, that's the thing that separates people who are, don't believe in evolution and people who do. People who accept science. Science is aimed at destroying myth. Okay? Well, once you understand that, once you understand that in order for you to be a scientist, to be truly curious, and to be a truth seeker in the world, the first thing you must do is identify and demolish your myths about the world. Okay? And I don't see that happening with, with Christian fundamentalists. I don't see it happening with free market economists like Milton Friedman or yourself. What I see is vast amounts of confirmation bias and bickering over the validity of evidence that would falsify your ideology, okay? So what I get from politicians, what I look for, is the politicians who are the least ruled by myth because they are the ones who are going to be able to see and identify the situation or the problem in the clearest possible way in order to take the best possible action, okay? And I believe that's necessary. Someone who does not believe in science, who would rather believe a myth than science, be it evolution, be it climate change, be it a whole bunch of other things that are very much myth-based in this country, on the right wing in particular, those people are unable to see the truth, even when it hits them right in the face, okay? They have to blind themselves to the truth in order to continue believing the myth. And, you know, these people, you're talking about people who send you stuff, trying to point out all the flaws and everything in evolution. Yeah, I've dealt with people like that too. And they're very quick to send you every link and every resource to try and, and poke holes in carbon dating and, and, and tree rings and ice rings and poke holes in all the evidence is because they don't want to admit any of that evidence because it will never be perfect enough for them because what they have is a myth and the myth for them is perfect, okay? And everything else is flawed, all right? The world is flawed. You talk to uh, fundamentalists about abstinence education, for example, who say, well, you know, if only people didn't have sex, AIDS would go away. You know, if only people were flawless, then the system would be great. You know, it's, but we're not dealing with flawless human beings. We're, we're dealing with actual people with all their foibles, all their flaws, and everything else. Okay. Um, And the thing that scares me most is especially when people fail to understand human behavior and, and the propensity for people to believe myths and how powerful myths are in society and how much the myths in the United States especially is being controlled and manipulated by the wealthy right wing. And one of these myths, of course, is the American dream. The myth being that anyone who is unemployed is unemployed because they're lazy. Uh, that people deserve, in a, in a market economy, whatever people get is what they deserve. You know, where are people supposed to find jobs when there's 10% unemployment and there are no jobs available? Where are people supposed to find these jobs? 
it's a systematic problem. But the myth is, is that there's no problem with the system. The problem is with the individuals, that the individuals aren't working hard enough, that the individuals are lazy, okay? That's part of the myth that the right wing wants to sell the American public. And it's not completely true. I am sure there are examples of people who don't work because they're lazy, but it's in the overwhelming number of cases, it's people who are sincerely trying hard to work. Most people, most people when they're unemployed suffer depression. They suffer a significant loss in self-esteem. It's not a pleasant thing to go through unemployment, all right? And most people would prefer to be employed, would prefer to be working. It's a fact. Right? And it's not because they're lazy, it's because there are no jobs out there. Right? And that's a reality. That's a reality. But, you know, the Republicans are pushing the myth. And that's what I see coming mostly out of the right. And this example of not believing in evolution, well, that's certainly, that's a myth that you don't believe. But that's a myth that many on your side believe. And there are lots and lots of myths that you believe that are simply not true. And that's what I have against the right wing. It's because most of it is myth-based and not reality-based. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Thanks for watching.